Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in to our channel today. Today's Canva video request is how to use Canva to create a quotes YouTube video. Okay, we're going to get started. So the first thing we need to do on our home page is to go to the search bar and type in YouTube video. From the drop down, we're going to select on see all in order to view some templates that we can use. And here we are on the templates page. Feel free to choose any template you want to use, something that'll suit your theme. And I think this one seems nice, so we're going to click on it. And we're going to click on customize this template. It's going to take a couple of seconds to load up. So let's wait for our editing page to load up. And here we are. And you will notice that the side panel automatically opens and displays the templates. So just go here in case you want to change your current template. You can scroll down or you can use the search bar to look for specific templates you need. Okay, let's start editing our YouTube video or specifically quotes YouTube video. All right, so first, of course, we're going to need to design our background or to put something in our background. In case you have your very own video that you want to use, then click on uploads on the sidebar then go to videos if you want to use your own videos or you could go to images if you want to use a still image instead but if you have not uploaded your files yet then click on upload files and then navigate to the location of the files you want to upload and then click on them if you want to choose several files at the same time just press control on your keyboard and then click on another one keep on pressing control as you highlight the um, videos you want to upload and then click on open once you're done they'll be uploaded over here under the videos category and once they're done uploading you can click on them or drag them to your design and then if you want to set this if you want to set them as your background right click and then click on replace background and it'll replace your background for you i'm just gonna undo it because i don't think my videos look really nice so yeah i think we're just gonna pretend that the uh, video we have here is it well i think it's not a video so maybe i should just look for some videos under the element section to show you something to work with let's say ocean for example and we're gonna click on videos i really like this um kind kind of picture so i'm gonna try to look for a similar one we're gonna try to look for a free one so we're gonna click on this button here to filter out the search results I'm just going to click on free. So let's see what we have here. I think this one is closer to our video to our background right here. So let's go back and let's choose that one instead. Oh, I think this this one. So we're going to click on it and we're going to right click and replace background. OK, I think that's great. Now it's time for us to add our um, title here. So you can put any title here. Um, let's say, for example, coats of the day. We're going to move that and we're going to make sure that it's properly aligned. You can input any text you want to input here depends on you I like to keep this element but if you're wondering how to find this element then you can go to the element section go to the search bar and type in specific keywords 
I'm going to type in animation over here and click on graphics. And I'll be able to find some animated graphic elements. You can also use other keywords. Say, for example, um, let's quotes or quote, go to graphics, and then we're going to look for mm, animated ones by going to the filter button and then click on animated. And let's see if we can find some. And yeah, we actually can. So just do it like that. No matter what keyword you use, just go to the filter button and click on animated so you'll be able to find animated graphic elements that you can use. Okay, so we're going to keep going. We're going to adjust the duration of our video. So to do that, we're going to click on this um, area right here with the uh, number of seconds. So we're going to click on that and this toolbar will appear. So we can adjust it by adjusting this slider or we can input the number of seconds we'd like our video to be. So in my case, maybe seven would be all right. So let's click on done. And I want to click on this again. And in case you want to edit um, how slow or how fast your video clip would be, so go to playback. Oh, make sure to click on your video first. Go to playback and then adjust your video speed right over here. Maybe we can adjust ours to be 0 0.75 or 0 0.50. 0 0.65. Yeah, I think that's okay. I'm going to keep it that way. And I'm going to adjust my video again to 7 seconds. So that it's slow, but it's still 7 seconds long. And in case you want to add animated effects to your elements, even your text, then click on that specific element. Go to the animation button over here or animate button. This is burst because it already has a, an animated effect applied to it um, automatically because of its template. But if you haven't put an animated effect here, it'll display animate over here. So we're going to click on that and choose a specific animation we want to use. Well, I think I like typewriter, so I'm going to keep it this way. And you can also adjust the settings of each of these um, animated effects. The things you can do depend on the animated effects as well. For this one, let's see. How about we add fade to it? Yeah, fade would probably be okay. And we can also add an animated effect to this one. So let's see what would look good. It's not really going to be obvious because it's moving. But I think baseline would be okay. All right. Now we're going to add another page. So we're going to click on this button over here. You can choose to use a different video. You can choose to use the same video if you want to. It all depends on you. We're going to try to use a different video here. So let's say ocean again. Then videos. I want to use just free ones. And we're going to use this one. So we're going to right click and set video as background. I'm going to go back to my first page and I'd like to copy the um, 
text elements here so that the font stays consistent. And I'm going to input my font over here. Um, let's see. I'm going to copy this as well, Control plus C and Control plus V to paste. And I'm going to input my first quote right over here. I think it looks really lovely. So I'd like to make my text more visible. So I'm going to add a text effect to it. I'm going to click on my text and go to effects. And I'd like to use lift, but you can use whatever effect you want to use. Using lift would help me make this text look visible, more visible. Okay. Now we're going to add animated effects to it, but I think the um, elements were copied, so I think they already have animated elements. Perhaps I could adjust the letter spacing, so I'm going to click on this button and do it like that. Okay, let's try to adjust the playback to 0 0.65 as well. And we're going to adjust the duration to about 10 seconds. And done. All right. And you can keep on adding as many pages as you want until you complete your video. Now we're going to talk about how you can add transitions in between. So you can hover in between the pages and then click on this button here, circle button, the one on the bottom and then here you'll be able to choose some transitions for your video flow is my personal favorite as you may already know But in this case, I think match and move would fit it much better. Okay, so now the next thing that's left for us to do is to add a background music to our video. So to do that, we're going to go to uploads and we're going to go to audio. Choose a song you'd like to use, but if you haven't uploaded your music yet, then go to Upload Files, and then choose a song or a music background that you'd like to use. Then click on Open. It'll be uploaded right over here. And then we can drag our music to our design. We can also edit um, our audio so we can Click on our audio track and click on this button that looks like three dots. Here we can do several things like adjust audio effects, but the only, only audio effects they have are fade in and fade out at the moment. Beat sync. This will automatically sync your elements and video clip to the beat. It's a very useful tool that Canva has released recently. And you have adjusting your volume, split audio, duplicate track, and delete track. In my case, I'd like to adjust the volume of our video, or audio I mean, so that we don't get startled once we play this later on. 30 would be okay. Alright, and I think that's basically it. By the way, if your video has background noise, then you can mute your video's background noise by clicking that specific video and by clicking this speaker button here and by clicking mute. You can do the same thing for your other video clips. And now let's give it a try. Let's pretend that we've finished everything. So let's click on play. Okay, and yeah, 
we're just gonna pretend that it's all finished and yeah you can keep on adding as many pages as you want until you finish your quotes video so to save your video you just go to share over here click on download make sure to select mp4 as your file type and if you're a canva pro user make sure to tweak um, the other download settings over here according to your preferences and once everything's all set click on download and that's it that's how you use canva to create a quotes youtube video we hope you found today's video of help somehow thank you guys so much for watching and we look forward to seeing you again in the next video you have a great day